Hello, uh, Steady on Roblox here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial um, on the Marketplace service. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering creating a game pass and making it give you a tool in game. You can also use a very similar method to give you something like a GUI in game, or uh, I don't know, some, a, a name in game or something like that. But uh, in this, I'm going to actually be covering um, how to give a tool in game. Um, so it's very simple, uh, and I'm just going to show it in action. Um, so firstly I've got this uh, game pass here called Sword Pass and as you can see uh, it's on the right place it's five Robux and I'm going to show you how to do all this stuff later in it obviously um, and if I play the game that it's in I like it like so and wait for it to load <laughs> Uh, sorry. Uh, here we go. Right, so you can see here I have a sword, and I can hit people, hit people with a sword. Obviously, there's no one else in the game, so I can't actually hit anyone with it. But if I reset, like so, I would, I should still have the sword. Yeah, I do. See, I have the sword. Uh, it's actually a different sword because it gives me the sword every time I respawn. Uh, but I do have, still have the sword, right? So this is what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this tutorial. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, so firstly, what we're going to want to do uh, is create a... Well, we're going to want to find the tool that we want to give. So in this case, obviously, it's, it's a sword. So I have the sword here. It's called Link Sword. And it's in server storage, which is where you should put your sword as well. Uh, because that's basically the best place to store anything. Um, Although if you want to, you can put it in replicated, replicated storage, and this means it replicates to every every client. Uh, you're only going to want to do this though if you're using filtering enabled, which I'm not, so I don't need to do that. Um, then we've got uh, a script in server script service. So server script service is basically the hub for every script you want to use it in the place that's server-sided. If, you if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it, it's not that important. Um, so in this I've got a script called sword pass. And I'll just quickly go through what this stuff does and then I'll rewrite it out just so you can see how to do it yourself. This will be in uh, the article which will be in the description. Um, so we've got here we've got the, the ID of the game pass um, and we've got the uh, game pass service which is a marketplace service and then we've got the actual sword itself and then we've got the function on player entered which is defined here um, which means every time a player enters the game it checks whether the person has the asset um, and then gives them the sword right i've just realized something that's not right here but i'll fix that when i re go through this again and then it says when the player respawns so when there's a character added to the uh to when the, when when the player resets or respawns or anything like that so when there's a new character added it will give the person the sword again. Um, so, firstly I'm going to go over how to create a game pass. Um, so it's very simple really. Uh, you're going to want to go to your develop area on the Roblox website. And then you're going to want to find your place. So in this case it's Roblox, uh, sorry, YouTube scripting tutorials. And then you're going to want to go to the store part of your place. And you want to add, click, click add pass. And then in this in this page, which is what should open up, uh, you're going to want to put your game pass's name. So in this case, it's sword pass. And the description is whatever you want to be. So I don't know. Um, this pass. Sorry, this game pass will give you a sword. Uh, have fun, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then you want to bleh, sorry. And then you're going to want to add a thumbnail. So I've already made a thumbnail, but you're going to want to make sure you use the the thumbnail um, tem template, which will be in the description. There'll be a link to that in the description um, because that's the that's the right shape for the thumbnail. Sorry, I just opened my files again. Um, why is it opening them? Okay. Anyway, so once you've uh, put the file in, it will. Um, so I'll put the file in now. It will change the title of the game pass. So you're going to want to have to redo that. So sword pass. And then you're going to want to press preview. 
So this will show you what your game pass will look like roughly. So sword pass, YouTube, the places, YouTube scripting tutorials, uh, and then this game pass will give you a sword, whatever, right? Then you click verify upload, and then you have your game pass here, right? So here you click game pass successfully created. So you click game pass, um, and then you're going to, and then you go to these three dots here, and then click configure. And then go down here and it says sell this item so tick this box and then change this to however many rs robux you want to sell it for so i'm going to sell mine for 10 right i think that's a suitable price for a sword in game right so then you want to click save up here and this will save all of the settings that you've uh, changed then pl just click back if that happens then just go back on your browser um, and then you'll come back to this page so now you've got your uh pass uploaded you're going to want to go to your browser URL here and then you want to double click on this ID and then right click and click copy uh, and then you want to go back to your Roblox studio now um, and this is where we start the scripting part of this uh, it's very simple really but uh, it may be complicated for some people so obviously this all of this will be in the article below the URL, there'll be a URL to the article below and all of this stuff will be in it it'll, it'll actually go over this tutorial in words as well just in case you don't understand uh, me talking about it so here we've got the sword in in server storage in the place we we have this is server storage in studio with with your place open um, if you don't know how to do that you literally just go to your places page and then you click these three dots and you click edit and that will open your place um, so I've done that and I'm already in so I'm already in the place and I've got my sword in server storage right and it's called linked sword and I've also already got this script in server script service but I'm going to delete that and I'm going to rewrite this script for you so you can understand how it's done so you don't need to do this but just for the sake of organization so you know what's what uh, what's what for later on you're going to want to put name this something like I don't know it's sword game pass um, and then open it up and type inside right so the first thing we're going to want to define is the game plot game part there sorry marketplace service so we're going to call this uh, marketplace service and it's called and it what it is is game and then we convert the colon get service marketplace service like that right that's wrong sorry there should be a capital there so capital M and then marketplace service, right? With capital S as well. And then we're going to define the sword. So we're going to say local sword equals game server storage uh, linked sword. And then lastly, we're going to want to define uh, the game pass ID. So we're going to call this G GP ID, right? And we're going to paste in our ID that we found from the game passes page in the URL. Um, and then we're going to want to create a function. So a function is basically, if you don't understand what a function is, it's uh, something that's triggered by an event. Um, it's like a, it's it's a piece of code that um, runs when it's fired, right? So when it's when it's when it's told to run, it will run. Um, and in this case, it's a function that runs every time a player enters. So we're going to call it function on player entered. And then this function uh, um, provides one argument, and that's the player. So we're going to call, we're going to put PLR, which is for short for player. And then when we press enter, it'll automatically put an end there, right? But the problem is that this hasn't actually got anything firing it yet. So the first, so what we're going to do to make it, to make it get be fired is we're going to add this. We're going to say game players player added. So this is basically when a player joins, and then we're going to put a colon and then connect. And then we're going to put the function name in, so on player entered, right? And then we're going to go back up to here, um, and we're going to put in some stuff, right? So we're going to say if, and this is where we use the actual marketplace service. Um, so we're going to say if, um, sorry, if. So this is this is uh, uh, checking whether the person has the game boss. So we're going to say if uh, marketplace service player owns owns asset right and then we're going to put brackets 
I'm going to put uh, PLR and then the the game pass ID, which is here, right? So GPID, GPID. Then, so we're saying if the player owns if the player owns this asset, right? Which, so the the game pass, then do this, right? And then in here we're going to put sword clone. So this just creates a duplicate of the of the sword. And then we're going to say parent, so the where the sword is going to go, what what's what's going to be the parent of the sword? Uh, the sword is going to be the child of whatever its parent is. It, it's it, if you don't know what the, if you haven't already heard of children and parents and parents, this might be kind of confusing. And I don't mean real life children and parents. Obviously, you've heard of that. Um, so you're going to say sword clone parent equals, and then you're literally just going to put PLR backpack, right? And that's the player's tools that they they that they currently have on them, right? So if you want them to only have the sword when they join the game, you can stop now and then that's it, right? But if you want them to have it every single time they spawn, you're going to want to create this. And this is another function, but it's going to be created in a slightly different way to the other function. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say um, PLR character added connect and then two brackets and then function and then another bracket and then go to the end of this press enter and then get another end here with a bracket on it which means it's ending the function and then in here we're going to put the same thing again sword clone parent equals plr backpack right so what this basically says is if a when, once the character of the player is added then clone the sword again and put and and put it into the player's backpack right um so that's literally the whole thing. Um, so now, make sure you've got the, the tool in the server storage, and you've got the script in the server script service, and make sure everything has been defined properly, so make sure the sword is the right sword. Um, and then, publish it to Roblox. And then you're going to want to go to your place. So I'll just do that now. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Um, so we're on my place now, I'm going to click play, so we can test it, see if it works. So this should work perfectly. So now we have the sword here, as you can see, and I can stab things with it. Obviously I can't actually stab any people with it because there's no one in the game. Uh, and then if I reset my character, um, it should give me the sword again. Here you go. See, I have the sword. Um, so every time I reset, it should give me a sword and I'll permanently have the sword for the whole duration of the game. And if I join the game again, I will also have the sword because I have the game pass. So it's basically you buy the game pass once and you have the sword permanently forever on for forever for, for, for forever more. Um, so I think that's the entire tutorial. Uh, there will be a link in the description um, about this and it will also uh, be in words. So if you didn't understand this, me talking about it, then you should understand the tutorial on the website. If you don't, you can contact me using the website. Um, or, or, the, or the comments actually. Comments is probably a better idea on the website or on this uh, video. Uh, all of the code in this video will be in the article and there will also be a link to the model um, of this, uh, of everything I've done in this in the description, okay?